So, how many of you have ever heard the term under the influence? Okay, looks like most of you have. For those of you that don't know, the term under the influence refers to drug use, and it's the idea that when you take a drug, you've basically turned over all your self-control to the drug. The term under the influence implies that if you make a decision that's less than sensible or you can't exactly remember what you did the next day, the drug is absolutely to blame because you didn't have any control over the influence of the drug. But that's a really bad way to think about and teach people about drug use because it implies that there's absolutely nothing that you can do to be safe or safer when using drugs. And that's just never true with drugs or with anything in life. My good friend James Kowalski introduced me to the book Over the Influence, a harm reduction guide to managing drugs and alcohol. Harm reduction is the idea that you can take the necessary steps and strategize to be as safe as possible with any dangerous activity, including drugs. The idea behind Over the Influence then is that you can have a certain degree of control over your drug use if you equip yourself with the right set of knowledge and think about how to be safe. So let's say you're about to go out and experiment with alcohol. The first step to being over the influence is to think about your intentions. What do you want out of the night? Let's say you want to just get tipsy enough to be social and then have a safe, sexy, consensual night with that cute boy from your math class. The second step is to think about how to achieve what you want. Mm -hmm. If you just want to have enough alcohol to be social, then think about what it takes for you to be able to achieve that level. It's different for everyone. And you know that you don't want to get wasted, so it's probably not a good idea to just take whatever drugs or alcohol people offer you. You also want a safe night, so if you're going to go out at night, it's probably best to have a couple friends with you. And you also know that you want to have a sexy and consensual hookup. So if that boy from your math class looks like he's about to bomb, then you might as well just cut your losses and wait until next weekend. But now you might be thinking, Francis, if I do all that planning, that's not going to make my night fun. The cool thing about harm reduction is that you can choose how much action you want to take to be safe. For example, some general harm reduction tips you've probably heard are 1. To alternate alcohol with water, 2. To avoid mixing drugs, and 3. To eat before you use any drug. And there are a lot more harm reduction tips out there, and for each drug, there are different harm reduction tips. But maybe you're the type of person that enjoys a cigarette after a long night of partying. So you might decide, well, I'm still going to mix drugs tonight, but I'm still going to find a designated driver, eat lots of food before I go out tonight, and alternate between alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. Or maybe tonight all you really want to do is drink and you don't really care if you're being safe or not. According to the philosophy of harm reduction, that's totally okay, as long as you consciously made that decision and you had all the information that you needed to make that decision. If two people drink until they get sick, it's better to be that person that actually wanted that and planned for that, as weird as it may sound, than to be the person that wasn't thinking about their drug use at all and got themselves into a situation accidentally. Don't get me wrong though, you can never be completely over the influence of drugs. And the message of this video isn't that as long as you plan your drug use, you can walk away from it without any negative health consequences. Rather, it's the idea that just as every bad choice you make will impact you and your body, so will every positive choice. And that it's important to think about making those positive choices even more so when you're making negative choices. The more you know about drugs, the more you know about the way that you react when you're on drugs, and the more that you know about specific drug policies and laws in your area, the more in control you'll be over any situation that you may come across that involves drugs. And at the end of the day, if you drink or use drugs, it's way cooler to be that person who socialized with everyone, got your hookup consensually, and looked hot while doing that, than to be that person that was under the influence of drugs and threw up on the carpet. Well, I hope this video made you think more about your own drug use and your relationship with your drug use and got you one step closer to staying sensible. Thank you guys for listening.